The candidates in the Peugeot 208 GTI racing experience hope to be among the eight drivers from eight countries in two cars that will compete in the 2013 Nürburgring 24 hours on the world famous Nordschleife circuit. This is an ambitious motor racing project for Peugeot with the idea of best promoting the launch of the 208 GTI. But there's more to it than that. Peugeot is also paying tribute to the iconic 205 GTI, which all car buffs have certainly not forgotten. Coming onto the automotive scene in the 1980s, the 205 is the car that Pocket Rocket fans know all too well ideally mixed driving pleasure and performance. Now comes the 208 GTI. And for Peugeot, it makes sense to continue this fabled story with a large-scale programme. Operation 208 GTI. The 208 GTI racing experience operation is an ambitious marketing scheme that will coincide with the commercial release of the 208 GTI. One driver will be chosen from the eight participating countries. France, the United Kingdom, Germany, Spain, Italy, as well as Belgium, Switzerland and Holland. We're going to choose them based on their talent, but that's not the only criteria. There are two other dimensions we'll take into account. The first concerns the fact it will be an endurance race, 24 hours. They'll have to be in excellent physical condition. That's very important. The other is that these drivers will be spokesmen for the 208 GTI. They'll have to conduct themselves in a way that best represents the company. The challenging Yarama circuit was the venue for the Spanish selection day. Like the other seven countries, five drivers will have the chance to represent their homeland in the European Grand Finale at the Ferté Gaucher circuit in France. Some 50 drivers split into six groups turned up at the track at 7.30 in the morning. All must be holders of a national or international competition license for at least the past two seasons. Two and a half months to prepare ahead of an extremely demanding endurance is not a lot of time. Thus, all the drivers must have at least a little credible racing experience. Drivers from all forms of the sport made the trip to see if they have what it takes to move on to the grand finale. I've raced in the Mini Challenge in Spain. In 2010, I ran a full season and I have 10 years of racing experience, she says. Like a lot of people, I've come from open-wheel racing. I really want to qualify for the finals in France and then go on to race at the Nürburgring. She says if I qualify, I know it will be a fantastic experience. I have a lot of hope that I'll be part of the team and able to race for Peugeot. That would be a great opportunity for my career. Each driver is allowed to put in a warm-up lap before setting a timed lap. Two chicanes were put in place for safety concerns on the 3.85km Yarama circuit. The local qualifying process for the 208 GTI experience was done with a 208 VTI, a production model with a comfortable road handling, which allows the candidates to focus on a single goal, that to set the fastest time of the day. After each run, the 208 VTI returns to the pits, where tyre pressure is adjusted and the tank is filled to make sure everyone has an equal chance. The winter climate ensures the track temperature remains constant and each driver has the same conditions to set the best lap time. The competitiveness level of the contestants lived up to the hope put in each one and when it came to the time to announce the results, there were smiles all round.
ceux qui sont sortis du lot se sont vraiment rapprochés de notre euh, pilote référent. Et c'est une belle bagarre aujourd'hui à Jarama. And here are the five Spanish drivers who will move on to the grand finale. They'll join the other 35 finalists. Remember, only eight will be chosen to race in the Nürburgring 24 hours. A few days later, the 40 candidates arrived at the Ferté Gaucher circuit for the final selection day of the 208 GTI racing experience. A full day of activity for the 40 finalists, representing Italy, France, Spain, Switzerland, Germany, Holland, Belgium and the United Kingdom. Several phases throughout the day will determine who are the eight best drivers. They'll have to bring all they have to prove they're worthy of being chosen to race in the world's most demanding endurance race. The selection panel for the Peugeot 208 GTI racing experience is a cross-section of the French motor racing community. Cyrus Ayari is jury president as well as the future team manager of the squad. Jean-Pierre Nicolas is the oldest jury member. His vast experience mustn't be overlooked. Eric Ellery won the 24 Hours of Le Mans in the Peugeot 905. He knows better than anyone else what it takes to win an endurance race. Bruce Chouani is a racing instructor. He has a keen eye for spotting raw talent. And Jean-Luc Roy, the president of Motors TV, has also raced at Le Mans. He'll be looking to see which candidates have the mental fortitude to deal with the daunting task of racing for 24 long hours. So the jury's in place and the selection process can now begin. The first order of business is a time lap around the circuit, similar to what each did in their national selection. Things begin slowly, but the tension is palpable, and now everyone is getting stuck in. The judges want each driver's qualities to become immediately visible. The main idea is to create a well-balanced team among the eight eventual drivers. I'm expecting a surprise. We don't know these young guys and they'll have to show us what they've got. They could even be a newcomer, it doesn't matter. They have to be humble, friendly and know how to communicate. They have to demonstrate that they can set up a car and most importantly have what it takes to race in a 24-hour endurance race without making mistakes in the car and also know how to analyse the situation. A preliminary hierarchy is established which confirms the speed some demonstrated at their national selection day. In order to meet the goal set by Peugeot, a driver must be fast, but there's more to it than that. For me, speed is one of the criteria, the others are endurance, which I mean to say is how they handle themselves during the day, if they have a drop in performance and if fatigue sets in. Then there's team spirit, how do they get on with the others? What feedback do they give us? For an endurance race, you need intelligent drivers who are focused on finishing. The one important thing in an endurance race is making it to the end. You have to be in it in that final hour. To have a chance of a good result, you must first finish. The second test of the day is in three parts. The drivers will have to show their physical endurance, reflexes and capacity to be part of a team. The concept of physical effort is very different between each contestant. Pushing each driver to his limit should bring out their capacity to deal with the stress they encounter during the race. Throw in a relay exercise and they have an idea of what to expect during driver changes at the Nürburgring. Team spirit here is a vital element. It's 
ça va permettre de, de mettre les pilotes dans des conditions in conditions they weren't expecting on a day like this. C'est-à-dire de les mettre We'll put them in extremely stressful conditions, physically taxing as well, and we'll see if they're able to keep a cool head and are capable of being competitive and consistent. The participants are split into eight five-man groups. Their points earned will be totaled, thus the winning team will be that which scores the most points. The relay demonstrates how each driver integrates into his team. We were really tired after that. We did it as one. We tried to support one another and it was nice. A quick race as a team. It was fun. The morning session was a good warm-up for the following events. For the organizers of the Peugeot 208 GTI racing experience, the competence level of the drivers is a source of satisfaction. This morning went very well. We already have some results that will be announced after the jury deliberation later today. We're very confident in the driving skills and the eight countries are very well represented. After the lunch break, the jury makes their decision, and for some, the adventure has come to an end. Three candidates from each country move on to the next round. David Pitot and Jenny Martin. Spencer. For 16 candidates, it's time to call it a day. Best five of the, of, ne of the Netherlands, but not the best one, <laughs> unfortunately. It was uh, uh, a bonus to be here and uh, with my uh, also my, uh, my great friends, my other four, I know them uh, well, so uh, I give them the best luck. The next round begins and the results will carry the most weight in making the final decision. The two coaches, Eric Ellery and Bruce Schuani, will ride alongside each of the 24 finalists. At the end of this session, the jury will eliminate another eight candidates. Il y a un tour de reconnaissance et un tour chrono. Et bah, tu fais le tour le plus vite que tu peux, mais essaie d'être propre. It's an important phase because we'll be riding alongside and we'll judge their approach and see if they're nervous or not. If they stay in control, after what we saw this morning, they know what they're doing. We'll be looking at the small details that will end up making the difference in the final deliberations. Mais voilà, c'est des petites choses, des petits détails qu'on va relever et qui vont avoir leur importance sur la sélection finale. A warm-up lap and one time lap. The candidates have just over one minute forty to impress Eric and Bruce. And speed is not the only criteria the judges will evaluate. I'm a big believer in the details. I've spent the past 10 years as a driving instructor, both along the side of the track and in the car. It comes down to feeling the way they approach everything, how they are behind the wheel, if they're in control of themselves and not just the car. And these are the details I'll use to decide. No matter the nationality or the driver's prior experience, they are all judged equally. The difficulty here is to know how to observe, know how each movement can be interpreted as a mistake by our two professional drivers. Overall, Eric and Bruce are relatively impressed with what they've seen. There are two rather extraordinary things, the driving level of all the guys and this car. I've never ridden in the 208, it has an incredible front end, it's a great car.
back inside, the jury meets once again. We have three per country, three times eight equals 24. We have to eliminate the weakest guys. Eric and Bruce will have to make their judgments. Mr. Full Attack is a bit over the top, but quick. I have a feeling he can't do a 24-hour race without going off the track. Well, what's his time? He's eight, quickest among the French. He isn't smooth, he brakes really hard, he turns very abruptly and hits the apex late. He's a rally-type driver, he's third and still behind two others. In any case, in the final, he's going to have van der Ender on his tail. So it's settled, we have some very good finalists, they're strong, very strong. For UK, we will keep with us Bradley and David. For Netherlands, Jack and Christian. Gonzalo, Alvaro, Giacomo and Simone, Vincent and Eric, Johnny and Matthias, Guillaume, Mathieu, Stefan. Here are the 16 Dominic. drivers who will now compete in the final phase of the 208 GTI racing experience. Only one from each country will be selected. The 16 finalists head back to the track to get behind the wheel of the all-new Peugeot 208 GTI. Now we'll only keep the very best and we'll furnish them with one of the best cars from Peugeot. They'll have to adapt very quickly. That's an altogether different exercise. These lads are fortunate in that they're the very first people in the world to drive the GTI, which was made for the racetrack and this event, and it's now up to them to tame the lion. The day's end is nearing, the last two events are underway. Two events that will determine the winners. 16 drivers still have to prove their worth to convince the five-member jury of the 208 GTI racing experience. The 208 GTI will have to be king to these candidates. They will have to take care of those who will take on the mighty Nürburgring's Nordschleif circuit. The pace of the 208 GTI is much greater than that of the 208 VTI and this is the last chance for the contestants to show their skills at speed. The next time for some will be as factory Peugeot drivers. I'm waiting to find the eight candidates that correspond best to what we're looking for. That is to say, competent, reliable and quick. It's very important when representing the 208 GTI and Peugeot. These lads have to show their motivation to make the 208 GTI racing model just as significant as its ancestor, the 205 T16, and perhaps write a bit of endurance racing history. Future factory drivers now come face to face with the five jury members who know all there is to know when it comes to endurance. Their goal is to psychologically Hello, push the 16 lads as much as they can so to can find sit. their weaknesses and improve before heading to the Nürburgring 24 hours. So we have uh, a bit of time to share with you in order to make our choice. Now you are in the two finalists. Uh, so we have a bunch of questions to know if uh, you are the one we have to take or uh, that we have to choose your colleague. <coughs> the coach told me that when you were driving, uh, you had to take care about your lines. What's your feeling about this? I... that's... I'm... <coughs> sorry. Now a driver must have the entire package, he needs to be disciplined and adhere to the plans on the track. Endurance racing is about being fit, the mental aspect is also very important, as is being able to communicate. Okay, so, now you are just two, so why should we choose you and not uh, your friend? You respect the parity uh, between uh, track and rally in the jury so <laughs> I think it's a good thing it's uh, if you you respect disparity uh, in the car well I'm a very nice guy for for one I'm very fast for sure on the Nürburgring um, but also yeah I know how to drive a 24-hour race I give not up uh, and you also, don't you, ne you uh, never yeah, give up. never give up uh, so yes. I never drive 720 yeah. kilometers uh, yeah also. What do you think you will achieve if you drive in the 24 hours of Nyomoy? This uh, selection is the opportunity of my life 
and this race is necessary for a life of pilot race in this race. So you're in the 24 hours of tomorrow, what is difficult? I think it's the traffic in a way because, and of course with a smaller car, you have the, the, the quick car, so you have to look at the front, but also at the back. The and third eye. Yeah. <laughs> and I think the most difficult thing is to drive quick without losing time when, uh, when a, a faster car overtakes you. What's the behavior you will uh, adopt in our team? I like to work with all the people. I know that it's not important just me if I go fast, but it's important that everybody uh, go fast because it's a team at the end. So it's better maybe if I miss half a second, okay, but I drive the car in the uh, proper setup that everybody like, okay. How you will do in the 24 hours of Nürburgring? I have a small experience in the Nordschleife, but uh, it will be interesting to, to drive there in, in a big race like the 24 hours. When you are young, you are a little bit too aggressive, but with experience, you, you can uh, control more the parameter uh, between the car, the, the, the track uh, uh, and driving. And I think we can uh, do a, a good, uh, good job there. So what should you tell us to convince us to take you? I, um, I don't speak perfect French, but I learned something for today. So Peugeot a une histoire fantastique. Je veux Party de son avenir. Les autres pilotes sont eux de nombreuses occasions de le sport automobile. C'est ma chance. Je vais travailler très dur pour Peugeot et je, je vais gagner le 24 heures du Nürburgring pour Peugeot. <laughs> Bravo. <Yeah. laughs> The tests are now over, the jury has deliberated and will now get to know the eight winners of the 208 GTI racing so, experience. Uh, I will <coughs> announce the winner of UK. We will keep Bradley. You are official Peugeot driver. Now that's for Netherlands and that's Christian. Spanish. The winner is Gonzalo. Now we will say who won this event for Italia. Oh. Italia. And I was in love with him immediately, so Giacomo. Belgium, Vincent. Switzerland, we took Johnny. That's for Mathieu Santis. For Germany, the winner is Dominic Pate. Dominic Pate is the last driver chosen to compete in the Nürburgring 24 hours. His story all the more incredible, as the previous evening he wasn't even meant to be part of the adventure. First reserve, he was a last minute call up after another competitor cried off. After driving 750 kilometers overnight, sleeping just one hour in his car, he qualified and along with seven others, he'll compete in the most prestigious 24 hours in his country. Antoine de Saint-Exupéry said he chose only lucky pilots and I want to have lucky drivers. Mine are lucky because they'll get to compete at the Nürburgring where you have to have luck to deal with what's thrown at you. So the first stage of the adventure is over and the next rendezvous is for two days of intensive training at the Nürburgring.